man for the Bulldogs, and that's what they do. They don't let you score. Right around 60 games, all they give up. Orlando Robinson, according to some rankings, could be as high as the seventh best player in the country. He's a really good player. We're going to see him right there. They're going to double him. You would think that. Here's Campbell. He'll knock down the game's first three. A willing and very good passer as well. The HTC Center has very loose rims. Sometimes forgiving, sometimes not. It's like that one. Pull-up jumper for Hill. Cash is in. Isaiah Hill kind of runs the show for them at the point, but obviously a score at 10 a game as well. Robinson can force Mustafa to, have to fade aways. Then Robinson's going to win. That's a tough shot. Offensive rebound and the putback for Colomario goes. Guys like Colomario are starting because Anthony Holland and Stroud aren't here. Eight Robinson yet to score. They go inside, step back, Deba. There's a three-pointer by Lakai, short. As you can see so far, Fresno State does not let you get to the rim. They just stay between you and the bucket. Robinson, that's what makes him a special player right there. Well, he's so he's seven foot tall. He can make a three. Yeah, he brings it up to floor two, folks. Campbell stays aggressive, finds Whitaker. That's enough. Coach Ellis has seen enough. 12-point lead for Fresno State. Some hot shooting. Six of eight from the floor to get this one underway. Hill finishes in transition. He's got an early four. And Deba's offense is coming back later in this season as well. Nice high-low right there. Inside to Mia. Count the basket. He's headed to the free throw line. That's what they're good. Because Robinson's such a good passer, and he can shoot it from the free throw line or beyond, he gets it. Mia ducks in. Watch this. Goes to Robinson inside to Mia. And Garrett Green's a tough defender, but Mia's just 7-1. Garrett Green's 6-6, six, six, nothing to do. him Because he banks everything when he doesn't have a good angle. Williams gets around. Yap swatted by Mia. Uh, Rudy took a hard fall. Rudy Williamson did too. Like still trailed by as many as 12. Now within three. Just under 10 remaining in the first half. There's no say it's really good at finding the open man, especially when they're doubled because Robinson's such a good passer. Just like that. Whitaker will cash in. It's a zone. You got to know who the shooters are. And Whitaker's a high wing shooter. Rudy Williams didn't get there. Whitaker, two of two from downtown. Yeah, or Robinson. It's just not going to happen. He's 6'9", they're 6'11", seven, 7'1". Uh, seven, seven, I thought it was interesting pregame. Cliff Ellis said they needed him to dribble out, try to make that Robinson move. As we see a three-pointer by Whitaker, he's three from three of them from downtown. Well, just that's the, the eight three-point three field goal attempt all season. That's given out. That's given up. You couldn't get it inside, so you just bomb it. I don't care if he guards you or not. That's not what you're out there to do. Whitaker, four of four from downtown. He's got 12. It's like pregame practice. Nobody closes out to stop you. Town to start six of nine from beyond the arc. Here's Yap, another three. He'll knock it in. Isaac Hippolyte saw him and got there late. You got to know who the shooters are if you're out there. Nate Ross alongside Noah Freire. Here's Whitaker. He can't miss. Wow. Heck of a performance right there. I told you the best teacher is to sit his butt down. Here's Hill. Wow. The hot shooting from downtown continues. Shooter, so you can slough off him on the outside, but you got to deal with him inside because he's very capable in the block. Mustafa's going to sleep good tonight. I don't know. Everyone on Fresno State seems to be able to shoot the three ball. So far they have. Hill pull up from 18. Cash is in. Keep it simple, stupid method, right? Absolutely. I love it. Absolutely, always works. <laughs> oh, you got to get around that screen. You can't leave him that wide open. The man's unbelievable today, and he just gave him five for five from deep. In half number one, the most they've made all season was 12 at Nevada in January. Robinson just backed down, bullied Mustafa, got his own board, and put it back up. He's got 10. And Mustafa bounced off of him on the first shot. And nobody knows where it's going more than anybody else. If you missed it, he got it, put it back. Double, double. Robinson goes right at Mustafa. 
tip Quit. in, no, for Colomero, but an offensive board again for Fresno State. Good drive there by Campbell in the finish. Bio at St. John's, and they described him as a bucket maker. Very apt description. He definitely can get his own. Good drive again by Campbell, finishes with the left. Little matador defense by Rudy Williams. You can't let him blow by you like that. Ball out. We've seen crazier things happen. Coastal Carolina, though, a big deficit trailing by 20. Look at Williams. That's too easy. That's with his offhand left hand. I love the fact that he banks the ball more times than not. Williams might need a Randolph Childress type performance in this game if Coastal wants to get back into it. Here's Robinson over Mustafa. He's heating up. Folks, he is seven feet tall and he's doing that. Take us to a media. 21 point advantage for Fresno State. Here's Whitaker. He has not missed from downtown tonight. Ran him off. Two staggered screens under the bucket. Rudy Williams got bumped a little bit on each one. And that was just enough room to get him free to put up that three. And now the other four guys are in a box. That's what you can't give up on contested. Robinson just jumps over the defense and gets the putback. He's got a double double now. That's the disadvantage. You got Rudy Williams trying to block him out. Instead, it goes to Robinson. He's got 12 rebounds today. Mia up top, slams it home. Nice look away by Donovan Yap. Yap closely guarded, under 10 on the shot clock. They give it to Robinson. Olimero bullies his way to the basket and finishes through the contact. Every time Coastal Carolina has, has made a run, Fresno State has had an answer. Nice drive by Cole Mario, and then the finish and and one for the gentleman from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Box and one, they've had a lot of success. They double Robinson. Robinson dishes to Campbell. You gotta trust your teammates. They doubled Robinson and everybody stared at Robinson. Nobody looked at Campbell and he got a two footer. It's a triangle and two, I love it. Switch it up. Entered into Robinson, he finds a cut in Campbell. Keeps, the defense keeps staring at the basketball and cutters are killing him. Campbell's a lefty, you can't let him go to that strong hand. Campbell working with his right, got it back to his left. Offensive rebound for Campbell, the putback is good. Well, Campbell did get the initial rebound, but Orlando Robinson kept it alive, and then Campbell did get it. Back into the game. Robinson, oh my. Nice little bank, got to try to draw a charge on him, but he split the double team there. It was pretty 12 seconds to go, Williams will heave. No, offensive rebound for Lakai, another one. And he's got, ties his career high with 15. Coach but Ellis, it's gonna come in a losing effort. Yep, Coach Ellis told him no more. A valiant effort in the second half by Deshaun Declares, but the team in the red shirts played two great halves. Fresno coming away State with a win and a, and a champion. basketball classic champions here in 2022. The Bulldogs finish the season 23 and 13. And they win the final game of the season. Fresno State, the second championship in school history as they take down Coastal Carolina, who's lost in the final game of the year in three of the last four seasons, Nate. Yeah, Orlando Robinson, 20 points to lead his team. Rudy Williams had 23 for the shots, but 20 points, 14 rebounds, played a lot of minutes with Four fouls and played 39 of 40 minutes. Kind of did it all for his basketball team. We expected Orlando Robinson to be good. He was even better than good tonight. Another 20 point performance. What impressed you the most about his play? He can do everything. He only made one three, but I've seen him on tape make a lot more than that. He can hit the mid range shot. And when he posts up at seven foot, he's got great footwork. He banks the ball. He's very efficient inside. Um, 20 points. 7 is 16 from the field, that's a little under 50%, but it's still very, very good. He was double teamed every time he touched the ball and he only turned it over once the whole game. Fresno State victorious here today. We're gonna step away, but stay right here. The
presentation of the trophies, the all-tournament team, Fresno State, your 2022, the basketball classic champions. A big victory for Fresno State here in Conway, South Carolina. Fresno State, your 2022, the basketball classic champions. A special thank you to our sponsor, Eracism, for their generous support of the 2022 basketball classic championship. Fresno State, your champion. So for our producer, Alex Souza, and the rest of our crew, I'm Noah Freire saying so long from Conway, South Carolina, where once again our final score, Fresno State 85, Coastal Carolina 74. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app.